Hey YouTube. Okay, so today we're going to be mixing up some e-juice. I got a light that's blown out and so I'm using a lamp and it's also appearing to uh, be a little blown out as well so I don't know what's going on here. These flavors are all my freedom smokes. Um, I got root beer, milk chocolate, Jamaican rum, graham cracker, sweet cream, Bavarian cream, clove, strawberries and cream, vanilla custard, these are the old ones. Uh, French vanilla, whipped cream, double chocolate, double chocolates from Flavorful Vapors, I bought that from eBay, and RY4, which is like a creamy, caramely tobacco flavor. And... Okay. So this is the basic concept of mixing your own e-juice. Now I have these little flavors here too. These are Loran oils. I bought these from my local CVS. And uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good if you just want to mix up a quick batch. And don't want to go all crazy. Oh, I got butter. I got marshmallow. Cheesecake and butterscotch as well. So, yeah. Um, okay, so in order to make your own e juice, you need You need some type of container, okay? Yeah, you need some type of container, and this is a good one. This is an amber bottle with a droplet. This is a 15 milliliter bottle, okay? Okay, so this is the process. Each one of these flavors you want your flavor concentration to be about 10% overall. So that means you're going to be putting in a 15 milliliter bottle about one and a half milliliters of flavoring. Now you can change this up or whatever um, to your um, needs or whatever you want to do. Um, but uh, this is nicotine juice here, unflavored base. Now, this stuff is very dangerous, and uh, you gotta be careful because um, I believe one droplet of this on your tongue uh, can kill you. So, yeah, uh, you don't want to get it on your tongue and uh, or on your skin. So, I would recommend using gloves. Um, unfortunately I don't have gloves right now so I'm going to do it without it but uh, basically if you spill this bottle um, you know you need to call the poison control center immediately and uh, call 911 uh, especially if you spill it on yourself because it's very potent um, and it's it's a poison it's a ne neurotoxin this is 100% um, nicotine. It's not 100 percent, it's 100 milligrams per milliliter. Okay? So what I do is today I'm going to be mixing up some... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today yet. Oh, I bought this flavoring too from eBay. Cake batter. 
Now, one thing that you have to know is these flavorings and stuff can be purchased in multiple from multiple sources. Um, there's no one place that I would recommend buying from. I do like the My Freedom Smokes. Uh, these are the TFA flavorings, and uh, they're very good. I think you got a strobe light going, um, so let's get this party started. Uh, okay. So what I do first is I put the flavoring in. Um, I sometimes smell the flavors to see if I would like them or not in my juice. Um, but I think I'm going to do milk chocolate mixed with Bavarian cream. Actually, I'm going to do milk chocolate and marshmallow. That's what I'm going to do. Sometimes less is more, and you really have to experiment. And, um, you know, put some flavors in there and, and whatever. So, um, I'm going to put 20 drops of the milk chocolate, 20 drops of the uh, marshmallow, and that'll give me about 2 milliliters of... Um, flavoring, which is a little over 10% given this is a 15 milliliter bottle. However, I like a little bit more flavor, so. It's not an exact science, I'm telling you, you can just throw some flavors in there as long as it's nicely concentrated and uh, I have mixed them up with too much and that's horrible. Okay, and then I, I usually I usually give it a sniff and uh, if it smells good that almost smells like rum right there with the milk chocolate and uh, this is sweet cream. I'm going to put some sweet cream in there. Yeah, that smells delicious. Man, oh man, that's going to be good stuff. Okay, so the next thing I do is I uh, put my nicotine in there. Now this is a, um, a three milliliter. Uh, I don't know what to call it. God, damn it! Um, it's a. Anyways, you know what it is. I'm tired. I'm tired. And basically, it's a uh, syringe. Oh my god, with a needle. I tell you what, the lights are just flashing, man. I think this place is gonna like. Oh, jeez. Uh, so this is 15 milliliters. I want three milliliters per three milligrams per milliliter. Okay. So that means that if you look it up, um, it's about a half of a milliliter of 100% nick. So I'm going to fill this up to a half. Like I said, I've got to be very careful. Now you can do three, you can do six. Um, I mean, last I checked, they make they made uh, nicotine juice up to. Um, 
I believe it was 24 milligrams of uh, nicotine, and it's all about the concentration. Um, the more nicotine that you have, the more potent that juice is going to be. And um, sometimes it's so potent that you can barely even uh, smoke it without coughing up a lung. All right, now this thing here is a huge syringe. This is a 50 milliliter syringe, okay? And what I was doing was, I was sucking that, you know, glycerine and uh, propylene glycol right out of the bottle with this. It really sucked and I couldn't do it. And I mean, I was like straining myself and pulling muscles and stuff, trying to get it out of the bottle. So I mixed it up in this little um, Tupperware container and uh, I poured in, you know, a half of the glycerine and a half of the propylene glycol. And so this is 50-50 right here, right here, 50-50. I give it a nice little mix and then I'm going to pull my syringe up almost the whole way so that I can take this juice in. If you lift the syringe, sometimes you get some air in there. And yeah, it's a very... Okay, and I got about 30 milliliters in here. I'm gonna dump 30 milliliters into, well, I can't dump 30, you know what I mean, 15, fill up the bottle, okay, that's good, nope, not quite, need a little bit more. Okay, now I'll just squeeze this out back into the rest of the hut. Ah. Okay. Put the cap on, give it a little shake. Now, I want to say something right now. If you get into making your own e-juice, there's all of these theories and books and oh my god, it's horrible. The amount of crap that's out there about steeping and making the juice good and blah 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 blah. I tried to steep my juice. It like cooked all the flavor right out of it. Like, I used a microwave, I stuck this in the microwave with the cap off, and it uh, starts boiling after about 10 seconds, so you gotta watch it. But, um, yeah, I mean, the custards and stuff taste better, but anything else, it just sucks, so, yeah.